Hi everyone, Stock Mo is here and Old Tesla Cat will have a few punches for the Bears and an uppercut. And there you go. For those that haven't seen Tesla Cat in a while, he's still in the studio. He's still doing his thing. Now, we had the first day yesterday of the official Santa Claus rally, and it did come through. Not Of, of course, not all stocks were green, but for those who are well diversified and you have a good looking portfolio made up of a lot of different stocks, it was a good day. And we saw the overall portfolio over at the Patreon going up nicely, and we'll hope to see some continuation of that as we move forward. Now before we get into how good this Santa Claus rally is and how strong it is, I can tell you, like I said, it's been record breaking for the least the last 20 years. Now we've seen a few days better than we started out today, but not many. And that leads us into where can this market go from here, uh, at least over the next week. I usually do long-term prognostication, but this time we're only gonna be looking over the next six trading, or say so yeah, six trading days. And so this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, we'll also look at the overall markets, the Dow Jones, S&P, Russell, uh, NASDAQ. We'll see what they're up to and where we could see things heading. Now, before we get into all that, of course, hit the Moo Moo link down below. Get that free share of plug for depositing $100 or more. And you can get up to five free shares of stock uh, worth up to $3,500 each. Take advantage of that deal. We have the Gemini, this is the big one, the Gemini right now. Click that link down below and trade $100 or more and you can get yourself $20 in free uh, Bitcoin and more importantly, they have Sandbox Metaverse Crypto over there, which I absolutely love. It has been returning fabulously for us. For those who have been following me, it's up over 30% over the last week. We had a nice gain. I do expect to see that hopefully in 2022 get over $10 a piece. That's where I'm kind of looking at the price now. Uh, we'll find out though, but I do like what I'm seeing. It's not over at Coinbase. It's not over at uh, Robinhood, not over at Webull. I figure they will add it on. Once they do, you should see this thing get a nice push up in terms of price. So I do recommend taking a look at this, checking it out and see if it's something that would hit your portfolio nicely. Ah, let's get into the portfolios. Talking about that, I have the two I'm sharing with you. I do have my overall portfolio, which is up over 300,000 in profit since we started it. Now, if you'd like to see all the different portfolios, come over and join our private discord, hit that link down below. You'll see everything I'm buying and selling. And it's a good way to take it to the next level and just become part of a great community. Now, as we start with the leverage portfolio, you see it is up before the start of today, 71,354. My goal was 45,000 to 60,000 by the end of the year. We are at 71,000, so we have beaten what I was shooting for and uh, we went above the high end. So that was fantastic and I love it. And we started with 100,000, we're up 71% on that. We'll see if we can get this thing up anymore. Uh, we, like I said, the Santa rally usually ends better than we see now and we're going to talk about there in a second and then of course the YouTube portfolio we had a nice green day yesterday I don't expect every single day of the seven days that make up the Santa Claus rally period to be green but I got to tell you it was nice seeing this up and now we're up to 11,000 in profit 228 to hit my overall goal though I would need to be up to 250,000 we are at 228 I don't know if we're gonna make $22,000 in the next four days but we will wait and see, and you never know. One big day out of the market, and you could see a huge rally like that, and I've seen days where this thing's going up and down $10,000 a day, so we'll find out. Now we get into the Santa Claus rally. This is the big thing. People, uh, you know, you gotta understand, I invest for the long term. I'm, I'm trying to find a good mix of stocks for the long term. I'm not putting all my money in one stock and then selling a week later. I'm trying to manage this portfolio to make the most money I can off the long period of time. And there's a lot of changes in the market which makes us change the positions we're in. All right, so investing in the market long-term, uh, it, it's exactly what that sounds like. I'm investing in the market long-term. Each individual company can come and go, but we are long-term investors in terms of the U.S. economy. I do believe it's gonna do well, even next year with the downward pressure. I think, you know, at worst, we'll probably see like a one to 2% gain, and we could actually see a better year, but we'll wait and see, because when the rates start to drop, there are certain stocks like tech stocks, or I should say rates start to go up, tech stocks start to drop, and that's where you see a lot of pressure in that. But we'll discuss all that, and financials usually do well, energy's doing pretty well, 
And we'll get into all that in future videos, but just know I do got some plans heading into the future. If you haven't hit the subscribe, hit that subscribe button down there. And of course the like button, it helps me out. And then uh, we'll get into it. Here we go, check it out. Santa Claus is handing out gifts on Wall Street. I love this article. They pull up the chart and it said it's the best start we had in 20 years for the Santa Claus rally. And they show you uh, over a lot of different periods here of what is going on. And I can hear a sleet and ice coming down outside, which is crazy outside of the office. But here we go. Uh, with 1929, it was up 2.21%. The best year ever. Right here, 2.44% on day one of the Santa Claus rally. 2000, by the end that was over, we were at 5.7% up. It did go up an additional 3.26%. Doesn't mean that's gonna happen, but I can tell you this, it shoots 100% when day one has a gain of 1% or more in the S&P 500. Every time it's ever done that, we have finished with a positive rally by the end. It doesn't mean it's gonna go up, like right here, 1945, we're up 1.4%. The rally only gave us a 0.58% overall, so it actually dropped 0.82%, but it still was positive, and that's a rally. And so we'll see here how they finish, but out of those, um, you can see one, two, three, uh, four, four of them ended up finishing down from the first day, and then you got one, two, three, four, five finished up. So five out of eight finished up, but they all finished up overall in the positive. It doesn't, but you can see some of them actually gave some of those gains away. Now, this is what I like to look at, the average and median. The average is nice. So with that one over 1% 1 gain today, the average is a 3.3% gain, and the median is a 3.42. And I, I like what we see with this. It, we'll see if this pays off in the long run, uh, long run being another six trading days. I would expect to see today with a little bit of weakness just after such a strong day yesterday and then hopefully we pick up Wednesday with some solid movement higher but you never know maybe you have the buyers out again in full force and we can see a nice move up I'm not going to complain I would like to see an average of a 3.3 or even a median of 3.42 take the average of 3.3 any day that would give us some more upward push over the next six trading days and I would be happy like I said it's never had a, a Santa Claus rally period that ended down overall in the red after it started out 1% or more. And that is after eight different times now. So we're on our ninth. So this adds to the list. Like I said, we haven't had a day like this since 2000. And it's almost like every 20 years over the last 40, we had one of them. So there we are, we're here. We're gonna see how this plays out. I'm kind of excited just for the history of it. Now you can look at the Dow Jones over the last week, add to this, the rally we are seeing. Now, uh, not all stocks are enjoying that rally. Of course, some of the EV stocks out there have been uh, still held down, pushing down. and. Uh, but if you're well diversified, you got the financials, you got a lot of the different stocks out there that we've discussed, then you are doing okay and you don't have any one particular sector holding you back uh, to enjoying some of these gains. And so you can see the Dow Jones is lagging out of everything now. This is 4.38% up over the last five days. And then the S&P 500 is up 5.05%. And that was the big one. And you can see yesterday it was up 1.38. That's where it put that out there above 1%. But over the last five days, it is doing very nicely. And so I'm not going to be surprised to see it continue up. You know, if you look at the last month, this thing had a, a choppy season. Then we can go to the last six months, even more choppiness. But we are looking to break above and now finish strong for the year. Uh, but like I said, the five days, 5.05. Then we move into the NASDAQ. It's like the more risk you get, the higher the return you're starting to get. And this, the tech heavy NASDAQ is up 5.88%, which I have no complaints about. You can take a look at the month for this one, 0.56% month for this one, 2.94. And the Dow Jones, uh, you can see for the one month is leading at 3.32. Then we get to the Russell. Over the last five days, I always consider this the most uh, risky and for those following me you know I'm in URTY which is the triple leverage 
of this and I do believe it's gonna do well it's doing well I have no complaints I'm up money on it I showed that in the beginning with the triple levers portfolio and you know I got my financials I got my energy I got the Russell I thought the Russell was gonna return some nice gains by the end of the year it's doing that we'll see if that continues over the last month this is where I you, you see the the down ups down ups down we're finally having a nice little breakout period which I expected by the end of the year and uh, it's doing well so far year to date though a lot of ups and downs like a valley if you can see we're still kind of low compared to some of these prices we've seen i would expect to see this run get up to at least 2340 2350 if not try to break out up up there 2400s again which that's what i would like to see and um Here's the one, the energy one I was in. I didn't want to show this because I did like energy for next year. I thought uh, first, the first quarter especially could have energy having a nice solid run. It doesn't mean for the entire year I'm going to be on energy. I do like it through the winter though. I do like it through the next few months and I like it uh, uh, so much I even bought the triple leverage which is this one. And you can see over the last five days it's up 13.91%. Over the last month though it's bouncing back and forth. And we can actually go back and uh, take a look at some of the, the plays I have in that leverage fund. And uh, basically pretty straightforward. TQQQ up 21.76%. My Yurdy, uh, which is the uh, Russell, you can see we're up 7.3% uh, now finally. And I uh, got into that back in October. And another one I switched into more energy in October, 3.98%. And then the other energy back in September, a week before that, 11.58%. Uh, so I made some moves there from some of the tech heavy plays that I was in. And uh, I liked it, I like it, it did well, it's making me money, that's what it's about. And of course the UDAO, I stuck with that one from the beginning of the year, and FAS as well. I This is one that I messed up on, I sold some of it. I did take a nice little profit, $4,200 profit, but that $4,200 profit could have been worth 16,000 uh, if I would have kept it. But I did make money off the money. You can see some of these gains down here from that money I've been spreading around. I'm not complaining, 71,000 for a $100,000 investment over a year's time. That is a fantastic gain. It's more than I made teaching my last year of teaching, and uh, I'll take that any day of the week. That leads us into the Asia stocks rise after S&P 500 closes at new record overnight. It's good to see the S&P 500 doing that. I think it's gonna finish strong, I've been saying that. I know a lot of people are out there saying, oh, it's gonna crash and this and that. Stuck strong, we did well. For those who follow along, like I said, hit the subscribe if you don't. We are making money, that's what it's all about. And then we get into uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, trades are looking strong over uh, the, the Nikkei is up uh, 0.82 early. So a lot of the stocks over there are looking good. We'll see if that translates into NEO, Xpeng Lee having a stronger day today than we did yesterday because they were in the red. Some of them were in the red. And that's no fun. When we have all these green stocks, you want to see the whole thing overall. But I've seen it many times where the markets are all red and the Chinese EV stocks actually carry the portfolios to green. We might see that a few times. I would expect to see a nice climb with the NEO stock, of course, Tesla stock. That keeps doing well. I think that'll hit 1,200 before you know it in a few weeks. Uh, I think it would have been up to 1,400 if uh, Elon did not have to sell his shares, but that's okay. It's part of the whole thing you deal with. And when we move forward, like I said, I would expect to see a nice 10% climb in Tesla stock. So we'll wait and see how everything goes. Hopefully everything comes through nicely. Neo has a nice run this week. Xpeng, Lee, some of the other stocks out there around the world. Sienna delivers gifts all over the world. Uh, so we'll see if that equates into a lot of stocks that we have having runs eventually here. Remember, a seven day period is what we're looking at. So I wanna see if uh, a lot of the main stocks have a Santa Claus rally, uh, or if the a lot of the high risk, or we'll say the retail growth stocks are excluded this year. We'll find out sooner than later because there's only six trading days left. So if you haven't done it yet, hit that Moo Moo link down below, get that free share plug, and you can get up to five free shares of stock worth up to 3,500 for certain deposits. Make sure you deposit $100 or more to get that plug share. And then of course, 
take a look at the Gemini link down there, get that $20 worth of free Bitcoin, and you gotta, all you gotta do is trade $100 there, and you'll get the opportunity to buy some sandbox crypto over there, one of my favorite metaverse plays right now. It's doing fantastic, up 30-something percent this week, at least when I'm making this video it is. And then we have the Coinbase where you can get some free Bitcoin for doing the email and ID verification. BlockFi up to $250 in free Bitcoin just for doing the, uh, hitting the different deposit levels. And then we have the tip rank special right now. And that link is down below where they're giving you 22% off right now using my link. Take advantage of that. And then, of course, if you haven't done it yet, come over and check out my Patreon. We have the, uh, the portfolios. We have the private Discord, thousands of members. We have all kinds of good things. And, of course, if you haven't done it yet, hit that Patreon link down below. Come over and join us. We've got the portfolios, my buys and sells, private Discord, thousands of members. That's what it's all about. Become part of a great community to help you out, get you that next level investing. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.